Blogging, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Today's technologically inclined students may seem to be speaking a language of their own. It is a language that HWDSB's 21st Century Fluencies team is not only understanding, but helping to implement into the classroom. So in this way, the student becomes a very self-reflective learner in which they're able to use a tool such as an online writing program to fully reflect upon the challenges and the issues that they're having and seek to uh, uh, search for um, and, and, and look for solutions both from themselves and from their peer group as well as from their teachers. So it really expands um, the idea of the classroom to a learning environment and a learning community. At Viscount Montgomery, the On Math program is being introduced to further engage students. The On Math program is like um, basically an advanced Skype version, uh, a web-based program where students can come on for extra assistance or extra math help. And one of the things we're going to be doing here is using that for co-teaching. So uh, what I will do is I'll, I'll be somewhere on the internet and another class can be connected through their smartphone and they'll be able to see me, they'll be able to interact with me as well and learn math that way. And we're hoping to branch out and connect math classrooms uh, across the board. Um, it's better because when you're learning out of a textbook, it's not hands-on. Um, I'm, I'm a hands-on learner, so it's easier for me. Delta Secondary School is the pilot school of the three-year blended learning program where senior-level math students are issued laptops to be used both inside and outside the classroom to complete schoolwork, collaborate on homework, and share ideas. Textbooks quickly become outdated, but computer software is easily updatable. The laptops are just one of many technology implementations in Delta classrooms. So today's lesson has multiple components which are uh, integrating seamlessly into the lesson. So to start off, uh, Ms. Bodden went to her blog and uh, from that point went out to an applet, which is uh, just an, a small online program where she was able to demonstrate uh, quadratic functions and what happens to the, to the line on the graph when the uh, values of the formula change. So then they, uh, they reflected upon that, followed immediately by Ms. Bodden putting up the activity sheet um, up on the smart board itself and then through questioning um, getting their reflections upon what they saw uh, through the small program writing on it with the pen how that's different from a blackboard or traditional overhead projector is now she can capture that file that she has written on save it and put it up online in her blog so they can access it later for review or for studying from that point on, now she has them into an activity where they're continuing their understanding of quadratics. So what she has done is she put a Texas Instruments calculator under the document camera, which is a live camera projector, which shows in live view the material that's underneath it. She was able to demonstrate for them the formula up on the, uh, up, uh, on the screen, on the smart board, and from that point they are writing the formulas for the, and graphing the formulas from the, uh, from the calculator displayed up on the screen. And so now together they are now going through through with a P, with graph uh, with a graph paper for lack of a better term being displayed on the smart board again so now they're going to plot and show the graphs that they have come up with together as a class um, through collaboration